What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and today I wanted to talk about the, um, they're going, there's going to be a level that's, um, well, not a level per se, but actually a mode in Splatoon today that's released. Let's go to the article right now. Um, now, if you guys remember, like, maybe a few days ago, or maybe like a week ago, about a week ago, there was a massive Splatoon leak in which somebody dumped every single file that was hidden in the game for DLC in the future. And one of those things was a new mode, which was called Tower Control. Well, today that mode is finally being released, as a lot of you may just know. It'll be happening later on tonight at, um, I think, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So, it's going to be really cool. And on top of everything else, Nintendo is hosting a Treehouse event at the same time to usher in that new mode. Considering that Splatoon only has two right now, it's a more than a welcome addition to have a new mode like this. I'm really happy to see that Splatoon is doing things like adding new subjects so fast and frequent with the game. And a new mode is a big plus too, you know? So a new multiplayer mode is coming to Splatoon tomorrow, Thursday in Europe. Nintendo will be adding Tower Control, which is a variant of Ranked Battle. Tower Control will launch at the following time, so this is important for you guys. 7 p.m. Pacific Time, Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday, so 10 p.m., like I said, um, 3 a.m. in the UK, Thursday, and 4 a.m. in Europe, Thursday. The Treehouse event will be showing off Tower Control on Twitch today at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's in less than an hour and 30 minutes, and 3 p.m. Pacific Time. We'll have an embed version on the site before it goes live, and head past the break today for official announcements with details about Tower Control. Um, okay, so... Pretty much, that's basically it, man. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming a reaction to the um, treehouse, because usually they just show off the mode when I want to actually play the goddamn mode in the first place. But um, the treehouse happens at, what time does it happen? 6 p.m. Eastern Time? So it's not like tower mode comes out right as soon as the treehouse does. The treehouse comes out first, and then after that, four hours later, then the actual tower control mode comes out. So the treehouse will be interesting to watch, just to get some kind of idea of, you know, how the tower control works so you can prepare yourselves, get your loadouts correct, get your gear in order. I'm looking forward to it, man. It should be a lot of fun. I didn't look too much into the leaks before because I didn't want to get spoiled myself because I love Splatoon as it is. So I didn't really want to spoil myself. There's some things that I don't mind being spoiled about and other things that I don't. Splatoon is one of them. Fire Emblem If is another one. That's why I don't really do spoilers or leaks, rather, in those fields because um, I want to play them myself engagingly. Um, anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. The reason why I can actually do Smash spoilers and leaks is because Smash doesn't really have too much of a story or anything interesting in terms of, like, plot development. So what's a spoiler or a leak to me in that regard? But some people don't feel that way. Either way, let me know what you think about this. Are you going to be checking out the Treehouse? I probably will. Maybe not stream it myself, but I will be watching it. So I'll be in the chat talking shit as usual. You guys know how I do. Let me know what you think about this, um, well, you don't really know what to think about it, it's a brand new mode, none of you have ever tried it yet, unless you're a hacker or a ROM dumper, but, um, take care of yourselves, of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.